Hey guys and welcome to this workout. Today we're going to work on a fast grip change. We want to improve and increase the power and speed in the racket and the arm and also get a better touch for the shot. So a little bit more advanced um, if you're just starting out and not so much familiar with the basic grip and all the ground strokes. Uh, check out this tutorial here that will also guide you through all the important shots and the basic grip. This one here is a little bit more advanced. But all you need is a racket, one or two shuttles and if you have a heavy racket um, you can also take that one for a few exercises but it's not necessary if you just have a normal racket and a shuttle and a little bit of space that's totally fine and you're good to go. So I hope you're excited and let's start into this advanced racket skill tutorial. So we want to start with a few small exercises and challenges to get a better touch for the racket and the grip. I will always um, talk about forehand and backhand here. By forehand I mean a grip where your fingers are up on top of the racket or on top of the grip and with backhand I mean when the back of the hand is here on top. So we're going to start with a kind of a forehand grip where the fingers are on top. We put the shuttle on the racket and now we throw it up and catch it. And the goal is that it lands right away on the strings. You don't want like kind of this here happening, but you want to take the tempo out of the shuttle, follow it a little bit downwards. Okay, now we're going to change to the backhand side. Back of the hand is pointing towards the ceiling. And again here, throw it up, catch it. Okay, next up we're going to change between backhand and forehand. So throw it up, go to forehand, throw it up, go back to backhand. Again. And again. Okay. Now we go back to the forehand grip. And now I want to throw up the shuttle in the air and turn the grip 180 degrees. So I will still catch it with the same position of the fingers, but the racket just turned half around. So Try to get very loose for a very short time, turn the racket and catch it again with the same grip. And if it's easy for you, you can also make a full circle, like turn it 360 degrees or even more if you maybe also have a high ceiling and you can throw it up a little bit higher. Try to turn it as many times as you can and still catch the shot. Okay? And next thing, we change to backhand side. And now also try the same thing, throw it up. Now we can start, I did it many, a few more times. We can start with just turning 180 degrees and catch it again on the backhand. And also here, can turn it more times, not only 180 degrees, but always catch it in the same grip. All right. Now, you maybe know the thing around the world and that football players are doing that with the, with the football on their foot. We are doing the same now with the racket and the shuttle. We throw up the shuttle, go around, the, uh, go around with the racket and catch it again. So again, we, you can start, now we start with the backhand grip we go around and catch it with the backhand grip. And you can also go both directions. One is a little bit easier. One is a little bit harder. Okay. Same thing we're going to do on the forehand side. Now again, fingers on top of the grip, around the, rack, uh, around the shuttle, catching it smoothly. And the other way around, the shuttle and then always change between the grips so I for in for example now I throw it up forehand grip and catch it on backhand and back again so try to change the grip now here during the around the world exercise also 
also change the directions, sometimes clockwise, sometimes anti-clockwise. Okay, and now we can also try to do that more often, like not only one time around the world, but maybe two times, maybe you can even do it three times, I will try it, that's quite tricky. Just jump a little bit off the racket. And that one was better. Yeah, try to do it multiple times and also try to do it with backhand and forehand. Really go quickly around the shuttle. And also different directions. One more time. Okay, good. Now, in the next part, we want to um, put the shuttle away, or we're going to put the shuttle away, and we're going to work on different grip changes. So in the match, um, we most of the times have to use different grips. I don't want to go too much in detail about the, the grips. If you want to uh, know more about that, I will also link the grip tutorial down in the description. So go check it out if you want to know more about um, which grips are there and why and for which shots do we need them. But um, I will always explain like how the grip looks or how the grip should look. And in the first exercise we want to change between the thumb grip. So in the thumb grip, um, here the thumb is on this, on the wide side of the racket, flat out here. And now we can hit the shuttle for example with just closing the grip, so being loose and tight. So this is the thing we want to do here on our left side, if we're right hand, and so on our backhand side. And then we want to go on the other side to a panhandle grip. So panhandle, just imagine you're holding a pan when you're, when you're cooking. So this is the grip, same grip, you can hit a lot with the fingers. So we want to change between panhandle grip and thumb grip. And one important thing now, when we are changing between these two grips, um, you can see that the racket here is almost turning or is turning 180 degrees. So you could be tempted to just reposition the fingers a little. So you, here I can also do it like this, but in the match you will realize that this, even if the distance is a lot shorter, takes longer to change the grip because you uh, are, cannot use your fingers the same way. So try to always turn the racket. Here you can see it. 180 degrees when you go between backhand uh, uh, thumb grip and panhand grip. We're always going to do that 10 seconds slowly and really focus on the movement and then we're going to do 10 seconds as fast as you can, change forehand backhand or thumb grip panhand grip and then a short break 10 seconds. Okay, so get ready. We will do three rounds of that. Okay, so get ready. We're going to do three rounds of that, Two. and we are starting slow. When you know that she's a tragic, all the boys there can help it. It's a habit. Close that Always three. tighten the grip. Two. And One. get ready. And now, as fast as you can, speed it up. I just gotta have it. Movers all around say your body is fantastic. Four seconds. One. Rest. And stop. Shake your arm a little. And Get ready, we are doing two more rounds. One more time, starting out slow. And go. Really focus that you have the right grip. Turn the racket also in the right direction. And speed. As fast as you can, left, right. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, stop. One more time. When you change, try also to keep the racket head up. Don't go like this here. We really go from left to right. Important when Three, you want to hit with speed in the, in the game. One, so once one. again, we start out slow. Focus on the quality of the grip. Three, two, Tighten the grip one, on both sides. Fast. And go, last time, speed. Three, two, one. Okay, good. 
Next thing, again, we are going to use the thumb grip and situation, for example, we want to push at the net and then the shuttle comes back quickly, but a little bit higher. So first one we hit here with the thumb grip and then we hit overhead and we just play with the, the basic V grip and do a rotation. So thumb grip push, rotation, thumb grip. So this is the second exercise. Again, we're going to start slow, 10 seconds and slowly then increase the tempo and we're going to do three rounds. Okay, so get ready. Thumb grip, V grip and let's go. And now when we get to the fast round, the movement from two, thumb to one, V-grip has to be fast. fast. So let's go. Three, two, one, and stop. So this one here, this has to be fast. The other way around, you don't need that usually so often in the game, but here you want to be as fast as you can. So second round, again, focus two, on the quality, one, 10 seconds, slow. let's go. Make the movement short with the thumb here, Three, and then two, go quickly up one, and speed. And stop. One more time. Relax the arm. And five seconds. We're going to start the last round here with this one. Three, two, and one. Go. And speed. And stop. Okay. Relax the arm a little. So for the last one, we are going to need again the panhand grip we had in the beginning, but also the backhand grip. And by backhand grip, I mean um, it's in between the thumb grip and the V grip. So if you are going from the V grip in direction of the thumb grip, you don't want to get the thumb here on the white side of the racket, but on the edge in between. So up here, a little bit more, maybe closer to thumb grip than to the V grip. So this this kind of grip. Now when you when you close your fingers your racket should rotate a little, then you have the right grip. So try to get into this position and the situation we are having now is we play a fast defense in doubles and then we want to go forward and push the next one with um, yeah, with the panhandle grip. So the change is here, defense and then go quickly up with the racket to panhandle and push it. Okay, once again we will do that three rounds. So get ready, Two, backhand grip first, one, and slow. push. Three, two, one, and speed. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, and stop. So the defense, that can be a little bit longer movement, so a little bit, if you imagine there is a shuttle, hit over the shuttle and then quickly get the racket head up Two. and into the pen head. One. So once again, Hello. quickly reposition the fingers Three. after that Two. defense One. Fast. and speed. Stop. One last time. Also, when you hit here with, with the panhand grip, make the movement small, keep the racket up, don't let it fall down. Three. And get ready for the last round. One. Slow. And let's go. Three, two, one. Fast. And speed. Stop. 
Okay, we um, want to put the shuttle back into the next exercises. So grab one or maybe two shuttles. And now this time we don't want to catch the shuttle like we did in the beginning, but we want to play it always up. And we just start out by playing it up, but only very close. So you will see it get hard to control the shuttle because it's turning. Sometimes you hit the feathers, but still try to play it up. Okay, stop. Probably you've been always in the same grip. If you were, now change again from the backhand, uh, from the forehand to the backhand, or the other way around. And once again, really small. All right. Next up, change between forehand and backhand after every shot. And again, don't hit it too high. Always short contact. Turning. Round. We're going to put in some circus shots, or you can put in some circus shots, for example, like between the legs, behind the back. Um, I don't know, just be creative, but something challenging for you, and also change between forehand and backhand. So implement all these kinds of things you can imagine. Of. Be creative, but challenge yourself with the grip. Okay, last thing, um, I think a really good exercise also, we try to slice the shot now when you're hitting it up and get as much spin in it as you can, but still try to control it. So now you will see. It gets really difficult to control the shuttle. You have to see the direction of the spin and try to hit into the same direction. Otherwise, the shuttle will go a completely different way. And also, sometimes forehand, sometimes backhand. And the more spin you get into the shuttle, the better, the harder it will be. So power uh, thing, so a bit like the round we did before, but now without changing the grip. But we do one grip, one shot, and um, we start 10 seconds slow, and then we really go all out, like 10 seconds, all you have. And if you have a heavy, heavy racket, you can mix that up now. So for example, you do uh, the first round with the heavy racket, and then round two and three, you do with the light racket. If you don't have one, no problem, then just take your normal racket. But and here a chance to put it in. First thing, we just had it also with the grip change, like overhead with rotation, and we're going to hit here. You can change the position a little, so you can go from right to left, but basically what we're doing is basically grip and rotating overhead. 
very short movement and 10 seconds moderate tempo and then go all out so except maybe with a heavy racket the first round Two, get ready one, and slow. start be really locked Three, with the wrist to have one, also the power transfer to your racket and go speed And stop. Okay, now switch to the light racket maybe. Get ready for round number two. Three. Once again, two, start slow. One. Slow. And go. Your racket should always bounce back if you relax after Three, your shot. Two. One. And yeah. go. And stop. One more time. Shake your arm a little. And get ready. Three, Three seconds. Two. Starting one, slow. moderate tempo. Change the position of the racket. Three. And get ready. Two, one. And full speed. Good. We do one more round and now we did some forehand shots. Now we also want to do some backhand shots. And of course, you can take many different things. We are going to do kind of a um, defense, mostly for singles, like when you're really far out. But now we try to still put power into the shot. So you can take a thumb grip or maybe go a little bit into the into the backhand grip try try out what feels best for you to hit with power out here and then really long arm stretch out and hit it hard far beside your if you're right handed the left side of your body so once again if you have the heavy racket grab it for the first round and then switch to the lighter racket and three more rounds so get ready Big finale and one slow start. Only small arm movement. Three, but really two, use your fingers one, and the forearm and go. Yeah. Maximum power. Three, two, one, and start. So now if you use the heavy racket. The normal one should feel very light for the last two rounds. Once again, Three, starting slow, two, one, focusing slow. on a short swing. Three, two, and one, let's go. So, one more time. Now, arm is getting hard, but that's a good training to get more power into it. Have Three, a two, harder shot next one, time. And slow. starting slow, 10 seconds, and then the final 10 seconds, full speed, everything you have. Three, two, and one, let's go. Okay, so I really hope your arm is also um, heavy after that workout, that's totally fine. And uh, be aware, don't do that uh, workout too many times in a row, like leave at least one or two days in between, especially when you're starting out even longer, but it will help you to get more power in your arm and also um, get a better touch and feeling for all the different kinds of grips. And um, so especially perfect for double players when you have to change quickly here, be ready at the net, for example but also if you want to get a better touch at the net. Um, so many different things. As I said, definitely also check out the description. As I said, there you will find 
much more videos about uh, racket skills, footwork and so on. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, it would be cool if you leave a like and also subscribe to my channel if you're not already following. And then I hope I see you in the next video. Bye bye.